Okay, hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to do a crafting with title block and projection view. Okay, first you need to go. Uh, first of all, you need to open uh, your drawing. Okay. Okay, we need to open first the uh, 3D drawing. Okay. So in this case, we want to do a drafting, simple drafting based on this figure. Okay, next, you need to open the interface of drafting, start mechanical and drafting. So you can select which one. Okay, this is for blank one, empty sheet. This one is all views. This one is uh, front, bottom, and right. This is front, top, and left. In fact, you can modify your drawing. Okay, here. So in this case, we want to use ISO A3. Okay, with landscape. Okay. So we can go for the empty first. Okay, the empty one is okay. Okay. Here we are in the interface of drafting. Okay, first of all, what you can do is we can create a title block first. So what you need to do is you can go for okay, go for edit, go for sheet background. Okay, you are in the sheet background. Okay. In this uh, background, you can start to select which title block that you want to use. So in this case, you can select this title block. Okay, manage frame and title block. You can select sample number one and click apply. Okay. So this is your main title block. Okay. What you need to do is you can edit each of the details here. For example, you can change this one to 3D sketch. Okay. So here we can change to figure one. Okay, drawing number we can change to matrix number or anything. Okay, you can put your matrix number here. Okay, we we can change to unit. Design is your name, and this is the date. Maybe you can put the check by. Uh, you can put any names. For example, my name. Okay. So now you are already in uh, the title block. So in order for you to go back um, to the working view, so what you need to do, you need to go to edit. Okay. Then working view. Okay, now is you are in working view. 
Okay. If you want to edit the title block, what you need to do is you need to go for edit and go for sheet background. Okay. Then you can change everything here. Okay. Finish. Once finish, you can go back to working view. Okay. In this case, this is our working view. Okay. Next. Next, we want to create a uh, view. First of all, you can go for your in sheet. You can go for properties, and you can select um, which uh, types of uh, drawings. For example, you want to be portrait or landscape. You want to be first angle or third angle, and you can change your scale here. Okay, so in this case, I want to use third angle and landscape. Okay, just apply it. Okay, so then you can go here, view creation wizard. You can select which is uh, the view that you want to select. For example, you want to have top, left, and uh, bottom, and all views. You also can uh, customize your selection by selecting view creation wizard okay for example you want it to be in this form top right okay front and right okay so if you want it to be asymmetric you can select asymmetric left and right okay this is for all so in this case I want to use this one first Okay, next and finish. Okay, now you can see a select reference plane on the 3D model. So you can go to window and go to figure 1. Okay, in this case we want your uh, front view is this view. Okay, for example, so you can select this as your front view then you will have something like this and just select here okay okay you can move this by holding it here okay. move this one and this one Okay, in this case, we notice that the skill is very, um, the skill is very small. So we can edit the skill by selecting all views, and right click, go for properties. Okay, so you can go for, for example, we want it to be two one scale. Then we want the hidden lines there, the center lines there and also uh, enough for center line and we can just select apply okay now you will notice your drawing start to enlarge okay 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 you can move this front view to be the center This also can be in center. front view okay we have a top view and also the right view with the scale of 2 1 okay normally we will put the scale here so you can delete the scale just maintain the view
Okay, you can select the view by selecting view creation. And this here I want it to be the first one, front, top and right. Okay, you can go for next and you can go for finish. Then you need to select reference plane on 3D geometry. So you need to open your figure drawing and select your reference plane. For example, I want it here to be a front view. Okay. So what we get is the front view, top view and the right view. So if you notice the scale is, uh, the drawing is very small. So you can increase the scale. First you can select all views. Then you can go for properties, go, go to the properties and select the scale. So you want two one. You can select hidden line, center line. Means all the hidden and center line will be appear. So then you can select apply. Now you notice the drawing enlarge. Okay. So now you can reorganize back your drawing. Okay. You can move. This one can move in the middle. Okay. You can remain only the view section. Okay. See like this. So you have a front view, top view, and right view or side view. Okay. Okay. So you can double click. Okay. Okay. Next, you can create. Uh, isometric view for example you can go for isometric view then you need to select the isometric okay. Okay. in this case we want the isometric to be change here because this is the scale is 2 1 what you need to do you need to go back uh, to the sheet background and change the scale scale to be 2 1 
okay so now you have uh, your drawing in uh, title block so you can submit okay first of all you can save as uh, as a drawing okay drafting drawing figure one Okay. Oh, then you can save yes either format any format for example I want it to be a PDF. Okay, save PDF. Save then you will notice there is your format figure one here and also the PDF. Which Okay, so 